Spreadsheets were developed as a tool to store, analyze, and manipulate numerical information. They're now commonly used for working with sets of data containing both text and numbers, and for producing visual representations. We'll be using two spreadsheet applications, Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets. I'll explain some of the differences, but first, let's concentrate on what they have in common. A spreadsheet is a collection of cells, with each cell occupying a specific column and row, giving a cell reference, such as D8 here. A spreadsheet file may contain several of these worksheets, each with a name on its tab, which together may sometimes be called a workbook. This means every cell has a unique address, made up from the worksheet name and the cell reference. A spreadsheet cell can hold numbers, here are some numbers, 2.75 and 4.50, or text, which could be labels or data values. Here's a label, cost, and this one is data, brown. Whenever you enter content into a cell, pressing enter on the keyboard is a good habit to get into. The application will take a look at it, check it makes sense, and flag up any errors that arise. Do this rather than clicking elsewhere, as clicking on a cell is a shortcut for entering its reference. What makes a spreadsheet so powerful, though, is that you can also enter formulae to perform calculations and other types of data processing. In this case, I'll just do a simple addition using cell references in the formula. But the great thing is that these will be recalculated whenever a change is made. So if I change 2.75 to 3.25. Notice that the cell displays the results of the calculation, but the formula bar shows the actual cell content, a formula. You can also edit the cell contents here.